That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more. Hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. Oh, mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that? On your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Nope. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Oh, 
shake you. What do they mean? Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen closely and do as I do. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Ignore him. We are outcasts, and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. They must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. To make your first kill, Aloy. Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. B bless you both. She... Boy! 
You saved me. I, I just want to... Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. And you... That boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost! 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst to visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. <sighs> and I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Well, 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 an outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <sighs> you have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Well, perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. shunned reaped honor before disgrace. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. How do you defeat it? 
That will be for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it, after the proving, and after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes. I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you.
you will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arn. Killers and the slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold your fruit, Nora. Uh, oh. Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azuram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th Luminous of the Radiant Line. Evil of the Nora, on the eve of your proving, unknown device detected. No 
What's that mean? We shouldn't move this guy. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. I'm with High Matriarch. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. It might even give the Nora Warmaid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you, it's a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost, and all he did to help me get here. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Owen? You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. 
I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Chuff. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. <sighs> Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. 
You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? <laughs> You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! She didn't win! The outcast cheated! An outcast? Win the proving? Never! For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave. Who is first among us? Ah! Now, everyone, forward! 
Burn it all. Then to your task. As you command. My clothes, good. But where's my focus? and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora Savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail.
Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. Great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the proving massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others... Like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me, because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister, for once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again.
Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirso, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Frost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then... High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only Matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost. The man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that... Day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy... I don't think he regretted it. I should be on my way, Teb. May all mother protect. Need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? The demon! 
Sound the alarm! By the goddess, what's it doing to them? from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says, Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Bring it closer! Closer! Varl, I take it? <sighs> Aloy. The outcast who won the proving. So you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled, and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. Now, I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the Embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the Embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. You know, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. You know, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. Rost. I couldn't leave the sacred land without visiting you. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. 
track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. I've been... trying to puzzle it out, but... nothing makes sense. The killers came after me because I look like this... a woman. Older, with short hair. But why? And... What's the connection? If she's my mother, then... She didn't look Nora, but... If she lives inside the mountain, how could the killers know about her? The more I learn, the less I understand. I need to track down Olin. An outsider. He was at the festival... the night before the proving. Somehow, the killers saw me through his focus. And he knew it. He could have warned me. When I find him, well, he's gonna tell me everything he knows. And he's gonna pay. Well, I... I guess I should be going. Dead and wounded, all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? Well, I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins of Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with the lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. Hours ago, I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us. But we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then... Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do, Bob and all the killers. I counted more at the war party massacre. If I have to. 
chase their filthy shadows from here to Spear's Reach. I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val, what are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother... I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the Matriarchs, beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Oh, with yeah. the mark of a seeker. The Sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. Ah, then I'll go to the fort and tell them it's dealt with. I've destroyed the corrupted machines in the valley. All by yourself? I'm good with a bow. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here. You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief. Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. So did I. But there's still a camp or two to finish off. Let's start there. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. What you start, they'll help finish. Camps have been dealt with. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. Go now. We wait on your signal. There. See that covered shelter? Do you see those corruptors? Focus, Varl. That shelter is full of blaze. A whole stockpile of it. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall, too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't hit it from here, though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back, tell Sona the plan, and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, 
I'll be first through the breach. Now all I have to do is make it all happen. Oh, mother, look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted like these ruins. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan! The Broken Stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. you find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Captain Balan, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. No, after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Waleed, tell what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Waleed. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. You in charge here? No, that would be Captain Balan. I'm his second in command, Prefect Zaid. Wait, you're Zaid? Ah, you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. And I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here? You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people. And I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. 
I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Up right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> She's special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway, th there was something you wanted to tell me? I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess, as long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. After year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered, and her death unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Oh, that was subtle. Give it a little push. <coughs> I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Serve? 
to obey or they'd kill his family. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. Is the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. ancient things back to life their power serves us machine demons from beneath the ground it's a nightmare nightmares yes the worst dreams of our enemies come true yes rise will destroy us all they will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were ah! 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 stop working there's the area we may have intruders you've come a long way since the citadel Aloy you what have you done I've disabled their focuses which is very helpful to you but I don't know for how long. If I were you, I'd act quickly. Who are you? Promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice, a cold, awful jangle that scrapes your bones, and hollows your guts. A metal sound, but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words, but in the voice of a devil. 
What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja's civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. <sighs> if only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today, they call corruptors. But there are others, much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your dead. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Olin, your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe, instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes, at the farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. So this is it. I can't bear being so close, and yet... It's almost over. Should I do this alone? I don't doubt you could. But with the Eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. So I'll watch yours if you let me. No. You wait here. Be ready to follow when the fighting stops. Oh, I'll be ready. I heard the commotion outside. Not one of them. 
Who are you? Don't be afraid. I'm gonna get you out of here. I hadn't given up on hope, but I'd forgotten the taste of it. Is it safe for us to leave? The Eclipse won't be stopping you. Then it's over. I dreamed of escape, a thousand different ways. But all of them put my son at risk. You survived. You protected him. That's what matters. Now, your husband's waiting for you. Olin! I heard the fighting stop. Olin! You brought him back to us. Thank you. There's no need to thank me. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. But Helis and his demons. I am honor bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. for identity scan. Oh yes, I believe I do. Elizabeth, good to uh it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get real. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up to something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data, then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. 
fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been with Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim. But it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. <laughs> this... this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? to whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am, or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. 
You just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. A common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists, as a ruin. The Asaron call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Sherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I've been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Yurt. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, They'll be sorry, too. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. This is Ursa's helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this 
trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osaram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osaram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. No sign of Murad's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Looks like they've been 
chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. says you gotta eat dirt. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Ursa! Durval try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little buddy. Ursa. No, no. Please. I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I... I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Durval. The name was... Ayland Forgeman, does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Erend, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. 
consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Derval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. This is the place. You home, Derval? I got a surprise for you. Let me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Duval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench, and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up! you are afraid of going back to mainspring in chains every clan in the claim wants you dead and they know how to make it hurt they'll even bid for the privilege it's just like you to get someone else to do your killing shut up you're at the sun king's mercy now Aloy, 
To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. It's time for me to go. Uh, w wait a moment. As I said, I'd hoped you'd consider staying in Meridian. And why is that? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid, as sure as the sun's rising. I was just thinking about Ursa. If you would have killed Durval on the spot, I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Well, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't, because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. Well... I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this? We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. 
So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place, each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades, a whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right, so is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. <laughs> you getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. Search for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a repel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. This... This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... a battle devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Entity has come. 
Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! Destroy the entity. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... I hear the Shadow Conscious are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than loyalty, don't you think? No. What will he have? You and I need to chat, Lady Huntress. The Green Tent, down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you know kill of the Hive. Uthid is innocent. So come see me, while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A 
lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Snow back here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. We'll draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top-secret super-weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is... that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super-weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. news and it's all true the pharaoh plague is devouring the biosphere life itself will cease to exist but does that have to be the end what if we could give life a future what if we could build a kind of seed from which on a dead planet
planet. Life could blossom anew. This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. The baby. The baby who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My
My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. You're an idiot. A dangerous idiot. But an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? Here being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine. Not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you get to the cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. The Nora have no part to play in this. Leave them alone. 
Soon, they'll have no part to play in anything. That much is sure. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, it's so fragile. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Are faithful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Approved by the sun and joined to our cause. Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Juron ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eyes of the sun, but it is mightier still in beauty and power of shadows. Let this one who schemed and slithered. Be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Kill her! Why leave it to them? Cut! 
So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, Venora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Oh, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I've brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but of you. Yeah! Graves, to Aloy's side, now! For Aloy! For the For our mother! <laughs> Saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving. So much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. You have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Lanzra. It's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <sighs> Finally. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sova. You are clear to proceed.
right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charm will house of knowledge. Elizabeth. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime What's the whole of human damage transmission of unknown origin? Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobeck, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, Harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them in place. It, they are escaping, but to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What is it? Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction and fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? Uh, 
I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy! Aloy anointed, anointed of the, of the Nora. Nora! All, All praise, praise Aloy! Aloy. No, anointed no, no, no. of the Nora! Up! All, All praise Aloy! Aloy. Anointed, anointed of the Nora! Nora. First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy. Aloy! That she may forge the path for others to follow. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh... Thank you. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years. I wish I could have done more. But I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. been in here before to a point you'll see for years i tried to get through this hatch i drilled i burned i blasted but we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through you make it sound like i should apologize not at all it never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force but with a key a key in human form the failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. 
But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh... See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. Transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. she couldn't have survived Eloy, and her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go home. out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, 
Stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And wh what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. A millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No. Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Oh, the master override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. You're here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. So how do I stop Hades? I've done all I can. 
From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you'll have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Your Queen Nasadi, little one. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. I'll do what I can for Uthid, but what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little Huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Vanasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out. Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us, Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Huh. 
I know that hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid. And mine. The Outlanders led us here. And now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja in shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shan, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. What do you need to get Nasadi and Edaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohu Adib, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Wadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. You're three to Hodiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Well, we didn't last long against it, but... I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. By the radiant sun, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, 
All we can do is wait. Benasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Little Huntress, glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Huadiv? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. <sighs> the way is clear. Here we go. I like how you always cut to the chase, in this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carter, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your system isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore, carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. brother. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. 
I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks. I promise. Aloy. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them. God, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Now. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Aloy. Preparations are underway on the Ridge of Defenses and at the Spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for Shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Petra! Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you. Hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nor at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either.
It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. The, and you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anoni bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. you lost after you lost your family silence are you there I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice signs from the west. Sun King of Ard awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wood smoke. Then what is it? The end. For how it begins, anyway. you spoke of to the guns to the guns now by the sun do as she says set loaded all of you be ready to fire will the guns hold them back No! 
Rally the Vanguard. Send reinforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! Aloy. 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 Tab. By our mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. Arrival of Entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. To contrary, calculations are precise. Presence of Entity has been accounted for.
was a bit slow back there. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Purging extinction protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire, and uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow.
looming. We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. 